things have never remained the same for writer John Page since he left Bridgerton, and there's a big reason why we haven't heard much about him lately. Bridgerton got every viewer interested as soon as writer John Page was featured as the Duke of Hastings in the series. Aside from his talents in the show, fans also love his handsome face and his romantic attributes. However, things took a different turn as soon as the actor announced his exit after Bridgerton won. People were very disappointed and even assumed Bridgerton would fail as a series without Page. At the time, every fan of Bridgerton wanted to know what could make Page, who got famous through the show, take an exit. And Page had a very simple reason to give, as his leaving the series was simpler than people thought. He revealed that he only signed up for the job, and he made sure to deliver, which was very obvious, and he added that he didn't sign up to do more than one season. With this explanation, fans kept appealing to have Page back on the show, but the actor declined, and even gave Bridgerton his blessing to cast anyone else for his role. So he was really determined to leave Bridgerton behind because he was offered a $50,000 increase in salary per episode to feature as a guest star in season two. But Page turned down this offer. The actor mentioned that he wanted to pursue his new thriving career and leave Bridgerton when the applause was still very loud. He explained better saying, I get to come in, I get to contribute my bit, and then the Bridgerton family rolls on. There is also value in completing these arcs and sticking the landing. However, with how Bridgerton helped set up his career, it looked like he had no worries but to keep riding on fame and get more roles. But the crazy thing is that Page's confidence in landing any role he wanted wasn't really firm. He believed he could never go past that point where he isn't worried about when his next paycheck is coming in. Then, he added that striving for the next job and being uncertain about whether his fame will keep working for him is actually a huge driving force for him as it keeps him up and alert. Page said, I enjoy the discovery of how high this thing goes, of how far this thing goes, of how wide this thing goes, because it doesn't just go up, it goes up, down, sideways, and in every other direction. I don't think I'll ever stop thinking about the next job. Interestingly, the actor didn't have to wait or strive too long before landing another role after Bridgerton. His first job after the hit series was The Gray Man, and the funny thing is that he got the job through Bridgerton. The film, which the Russo brothers directed, didn't need Paige to audition for the role as his actions from the Bridgerton show did it for him. While explaining how this happened, Joe Russo said, My wife is a huge Bridgerton fan. That's how we discovered him. I had watched all of Bridgerton with my wife. With how quickly Paige landed his role in The Gray Man, many fans assumed that it was the reason he couldn't appear in Bridgerton too. But Joe defended this, saying, We did not pull him away from Bridgerton. I don't want anyone coming after us. Also, Anthony Russo added that it just happened to be at the same time he left the show and that it was a coincidence and nothing more. Aside from Bridgerton being a factor in how Paige was discovered, there were other reasons why he got cast as Denny Carmichael, the main antagonist in the film. Seeing him as a romantic on Bridgerton wasn't enough to figure out if he could play a bad CIA agent, so the Russos kept watching every one of his moves. In 2021, Paige made an appearance on Saturday Night Live, and that was where the director saw him as the right fit for his shady CIA role. Joe explained how he figured it out, saying, I saw him on Saturday Night Live, and I thought he was charismatic and really, really compelling and fun to watch, and so we thought he'd be perfect as a villain. However, for an actor who couldn't do more than one season of the Bridgerton series, Joe has hopes that Paige would be a regular face on The Gray Man if they decided to do another film. There are 11 books in the series, so Joe believes that Paige is a perfect fit for the role and could always return whenever his services are needed. Soon after The Gray Man, the actor also got another role in Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, and his success in Bridgerton also indirectly put him as one of the best choices for his role in Dungeons and Dragons. But then, Paige revealed what drew him to the movie when he said, I remember picking up the script and not knowing what to expect and hoping it was good and then it surpassing every hope that I had for it. You always love it when a job makes it hard to say no and so I didn't. And that's very surprising considering Bridgerton also made it hard for him to say no, but he still did anyway. Apparently, while on a media tour to promote D&D, Paige couldn't avoid talking about how life changed for him ever since Bridgerton. He was a guest on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert where he got the chance to talk about many of the behind the scenes struggles and blessings that he has encountered since leaving Bridgerton. Stephen asked him when he realized his career had changed since filming Bridgerton and he recalled some very strange moments that happened soon after. He went to Belfast to shoot D&D and while on his way to his hotel from the airport, he heard on the radio that there was a competition to find him since he had just flown in. Paige revealed his reaction to that news saying, so I just kind of holed up in the hotel for like 
like two, three months, I just basically didn't leave my room, so it's a bit of a mixed blessing. Interestingly, some of the fans found him and he really loved the experience because they were all very friendly and none tried to steal a picture of him. But it was a really crazy moment for him as he couldn't move on the street as he was being watched and followed. In fact, the only place where he felt like a normal human being after Brigderton was when he was on set and filming with his colleagues. After all of that drama, Paige took a break and no one was talking about him until the New York Post in January 2023 published and declared Paige as the most handsome man in the world. However, Paige didn't trust the headline and referred to the declaration as a setup because he was trying to stay out of the news, but people still found a way to start talking about him again. While speaking about it, he revealed that he doesn't see himself as the most handsome man in the world and that it was strange for him to be considered one. The host further praised his actions in Bridgerton and how he went on to nail another role in D&D, &D, and Paige replied, saying, very occasionally, I just give the people what they want. Sadly enough, Paige hasn't featured in any other film or TV series ever since he appeared in D&D, &D, and that could mean he's taking a break from the entertainment industry, but it could also mean his career didn't take off as much as people would have expected after his recognition in Bridgerton. In an article published by Daily Mail in 2021, Paige was listed as one of the great actors whose careers fell off after exiting a major TV show. So soon after Paige left Bridgerton, it looked like many of his fans would follow him wherever he goes, but then those fans are more interested in seeing him in Bridgerton than in anything else since they actually fell in love with the Duke and not Paige himself. And it's an obvious fact that Paige hasn't featured in a project as big as Bridgerton ever since his departure. Also, his biggest award nominations and winnings come from Bridgerton, and no other acting role has given him that recognition since he moved on from the series. However, many fans might think this is just a phase as many bigger projects could show up in the future, but as it is, Paige has nothing much planned as his schedules seem open. According to his IMDb page, he only has one project coming up that's still in pre-production. The unnamed series is to follow Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid where he gets to play the character of Butch, but after that, there's nothing else. While this might be very sad, fans should know that he did enough to make a good impression with Bridgerton, but not enough to make him gain some very loyal fans. And even though he did well with The Gray Man and D&D, those kinds of movies aren't as romantic as Bridgerton. So going from a romantic and royal character to a villain isn't something many fans can put side by side. Although every actor fears being stereotyped, Paige seems to know how to get people's attention better when he's been romantic, and only Bridgerton gave him that platform to prove it. However, it might take time before the actor blows up on screen again, especially now that he has little to no project coming up. Also, the actor keeps taking roles that have to do with robbing and being shady, which many of his Bridgerton followers can't relate to. So the real reason why many people don't hear about Paige anymore is because he's not intensely making a lady fall in love like he did in Bridgerton. Share your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.